Hi there, my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today I'm going to be cash condensing my envelopes to larger bills, save a little room, and also we're going to go ahead and do my sinking funds update all in one combo video. So thank you guys for being here. Click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and if you enjoy any part of this video. Join my family, let me be your weekly inspiration for your own budgeting journey, and let's go ahead and get this started. Hi guys, how you doing? I hope you guys have been doing good. I am so excited to see how much, if we have been able to save this month, how much we've been able to save. If we haven't, it's fine. I'm not going to fret, but you know, I of course would love to see that that number has gone up from last month. But before we get started, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on this card in this video, and you guys can put your answers in the comments below, but it's just a little something to help me get to know you better and you guys to get to know me better. So today's card is Do you prefer planning things out or being spontaneous? Me? I prefer to plan them out. <laughs> Spontaneity can only get you so far, especially if whatever it is is going to cost money. Now if I was rich, I'd probably be way more spontaneous, but because I'm not, I have to plan things financially, so I prefer planning them out. What about you guys? Do you prefer planning things out or being spontaneous? Alright, so we are going to go ahead and flip back to where I have April's sinking funds. I'm going to take this out so it's out of my way. And this is where I have April's sinking funds. So we have three pages of this basically and we're gonna go through every single envelope but while we're doing that we might as well condense them because I know some of them need to be condensed but we're gonna start backwards I think we're gonna start probably I think I should start like in the kids savings savings area maybe my savings but that way we can grab some hundreds out and have some change to make better change, you know, whatever. But we're going to go ahead and go through each of my envelopes. We're going to find out how much are in them. And then at the end, we'll be able to see if we've managed to save any money this month. Hopefully we have. <laughs> All right. So I did grab some hundreds. These are the hundreds I just had um, on hand from vacation that I have sitting in my safe. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So 1,300 right here. So at the end of this video, we want to make sure that we still have 1,300, no matter what denomination that comes in. So that'll be the fun part, making sure I did this right. <laughs> All right, so I am going to start with my savings binder because I know I have a couple of things in there that need to be um, condensed with a $100 bill. So let's go ahead and do that. Starting with savings, we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. What is that? 300, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 304. So that means we can keep the 200 and we can keep the four ones, and this should be 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. And we'll just exchange all of this. I know I should have just, let me just go ahead and do that. Because, you know, we might have 50s. So now we have 304, nice and condensed. And then let's look at retirement. Retirement already has a thousand dollars in the bank, so we have 150, 70, 90, 95, 200, 205, 6, 7, and 8. So we can keep a 5 and an 8. 
I mean, and an eight. We can keep the five and the threes and the one, and this should be a hundred. So 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. Perfect. Grab a hundred up. So now we have a thousand. One, two, two, oh, five, six, seven, eight. So twelve, oh, eight. Let's see. Anniversary has one, two, three hundred, twenty, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, forty six. So we can keep all of this and keep the best five and then the one, and we can exchange this for a twenty. So twenty, forty, forty five, forty six with the three, and that's perfect. So three forty six, and then TK Toys only has five. I think. Let me double check. Yep, just five. All right, so we have condensed this binder. It already feels, even though it wasn't much, I didn't feel like it still feels thinner. The next one I want to move to is my graduation for the kiddos and their and their savings. I thought it was cars for a second. But graduation and their savings. So we're going to start with grad party. So we have 1, 2, 3, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 500, 5, and 10. So let's keep the 10. This should be 100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And we'll just exchange. So now we have 410, and it, or 510 actually, 510, and it is very much thinner, which is nice. Son's graduation has 10, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 10. So 510. 10. A graduation has 1,000 in the bank already. 1, 200. 50, 70, 90, 95. 300 and 305. So I'm going to keep. We'll keep that five. So 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. So now she has one, two, and three, oh, five. 13, oh, five. For my youngest, I think she has 45, let's say 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we'll keep one of these pretty fives, this 20 and that 20. So this is 20, put that back. So 45. For their savings, let's see, we have a thousand already in the bank. 100, 55, 65, 70, 71, so 50 and the 1, this should be 20, 71, so 1,171. And I'm going to go ahead and write that down for all the kiddos because they're all the same. One thousand one hundred fifty seventy, And we'll do it again for the youngest. And 
and that'll do it for this binder. Let's move back on into my kids. I'm working backwards here. So my son has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ugh, that's a bummer. So 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, and 96. So we took a 50 and a 5. So we took 55, 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very good. I kind of did that backwards, but we still managed to do it right. <laughs> All right. So now his birthday has 150, 70, 95, 96. So 196. For my middle child and her birthday, she has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, so that's 200, let's see, what is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 204, so 20s, 10, 5s, and 5 ones. so 200, and four dollars. For my youngest, she has one hundred fifty, seventy, ninety, two ten, two thirty, two fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. So two hundred and eighty. So I'm going to keep the 50, 70, wait, 280, right? So 50, 70, 80. And this should be 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So we'll grab up a 100. And it's 280. Now for their cars, probably not going to have much of a change, and it is as good as it's going to be, so 1,120.35, so 1,135, yeah, I kind of just, you know, didn't really count their cars as priorities right now. I like the 1,000 facing out though. I might start going back to that with them. So same thing for each of the kids. Um, no, nothing to exchange. All 1,135. Just showing that to you guys. Yeah, I like it better this way. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to reserves. And we're going to start with car maintenance. We might need the calculator for this. We'll see. Just in case. So for oil changes, we have 100. For tags, we have 100. For deductible, we have 100. And for emergency fund, we have 100, 200, 250. 255260. And I can go ahead and exchange these two fives for a 10. So that's 560 in total for car maintenance. And I like the denominations that it's all in, which is all hundreds. All right. Health savings. I can tell you it's gonna be definitely less. We have definitely hit this this month. But for medicine we have zero. 
For health, we have 55. For copays, we have 25. And for deductible, we have one, two. So $82 in total in health savings. Home emergency has 20 now. Bills advancement I don't do because that is actually I should do it now. I'm gonna write two month bills advancement because that I can calculate. So I'm not gonna do the one month ahead because we literally spend it as each month goes, but for the two months ahead I have twenty. So I'll exchange this. For 20 and that goes into I don't know if you can see them but in my two month I would love to be six months ahead in bills but you know small steps <laughs> emergency fund has 525 and it is as condensed as it can be cost of living see what we have. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. So I'm going to do 20. None of these 10s are good. Let me take this 10 and put this one back. All right. So that's 80 right there. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, which is what we took. So now it's much thinner. For mental health, I'm not going to do anything. Wait, hold on. Cost of living, 80. Uh, mental health, I'm not going to condense at all, but we can give it a count. That's 50, 100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. So 195. For vet bill, we have 50, 60, 65, 66, 67. And that will be it for this binder. Alright, so now I'm going to start up at the top and we'll just go down from here. Starting with vacation. I have these all in tabs, so I'd like to keep the tabs together. So for lodging, we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 100, 210. So 3,210, which will be enough to cost, cover the cost of our beach house. For rentals, we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So I'll keep one of these 50s. And this should be 150, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. And we can exchange this out for 100. So 150 in our beach rentals. And that means like our chairs and everything. For travel, this is going towards gas. We have 100, 200, 250, 300. 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So we'll exchange this for a 10. And now we have 360 in travel, which is basically our gas. So that's much better. And we didn't add that up, so 3,210 with rentals at 150, and then 360 
for travel. That's 3720 Let me make sure that's right. Yep. All right. Three thousand seven hundred and twenty for a road trip. We have five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So let's exchange two fives for a ten. So we have ten, fifteen, and nineteen. I'm going to exchange this for this, I think. Yeah, that one's better. All right, so 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Just making sure. So 19 in road trip. And if we don't take a road trip by the time we are done, then I'll just add it to vacation. But we have 10, 15, 20, so we can exchange that. And that is for school supplies, which is basically getting ready for the next school year. Electronics has 5, 10, 11. So $11 in our charger fund, because <laughs> that's what it is. Home renovations as twenty-five thirty. I don't even know why I'm looking. You know there's no good tens. Wait, that's a good one. So twenty thirty. And driver's ed, which we never go in right now, is 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, which I like it just like how it is. So 95 hasn't changed. And then we'll move to the next one, which is my holidays binder. And we're going to start with our holidays. And I believe everything is empty right now. Yeah, because we spent Easter. Yeah. So that is at zero. Hubby, let's see what we have going on in here. So for Father's Day, he has 50. And then for birthday, he has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. So we can do, I'm going to get a better five for sure. And then we'll do 50, 70, and then, is there a better 10? Yeah. All right. So this should be 50. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Because we grabbed up this 50. I hope that makes sense. Oh my goodness. I'm running out of space. All right. So 50, 70, 80, 85 still. So 50 plus 85, so he has 135, and nothing in spoil him, not yet. And now wifey, which I haven't quite spent my birthday money yet, but it'll, it'll happen. So Mother's Day has 50, so I'm going to exchange that for this 50. 2040, 50. And birthday, 2022, has 100, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50, and 55. So 255, and I can exchange these two fives for a 10. So, yeah, we're going to leave it like that. So 255, so we have 305 in total right now in wifey. All 
All right, Christmas, this is a big one. Okay, we definitely need to do some condensing, I think, in this one. So for TK, which is my hubby, he has 250, and that says condensed as it can be. For BK, which is me, I also have 250. For JK, which is my son, he has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 20, 40, 50. So 750 for him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 50. And then for my daughter, which we're currently working on, she has 100, 20, 30, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 49. So 20, 40. And then this, we should get, let me get the ugliest ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We'll exchange these for a five. Why are these all bad? Okay. Budgeters, let's let's have a talk. Can you please? I know that you like those small envelopes where you fold your money and you put it in your wallet and it looks cute and everything, but you are contributing to the degradation of our dollar bills. I am not kidding. Every fold is wearing these out. It is so it's so bad. Like it's bad. And I know that y'all like to fold it and put it in your wallets and stuff, but it is really contributing to the problem. Okay. Sorry for that little rant. <laughs> okay. Um, we have 100, 20, 40, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9. So 149 in my daughter's Christmas so far. So we have 1,399, I know, but it doesn't matter because of the way that it is split up. And that's all we've got so far. Okay, oh goodness, this is, I'm going to tear these envelopes up, I just know it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Maybe I should get like one of those big ones. All right, let's move on to business. Let's see what we can condense in here. I don't do taxes because this is technically not my money. This is the IRS's money, but 50, 70, 90, 100. So we have our first 100 in taxes. This is just from YouTube. And then 5, 6, 7. Ugh, that's gross. We'll do that. 5, 6, 7. So 107 in taxes, not writing it down. Then we have budget supplies. All right, so for budget supplies and stickers, I have 10, 20, which I can exchange for 20 and 21. Plus the five in planner, which I can exchange, hopefully, for a better five. I think anything is better than a ripped one. But you see what I'm saying? It's been folded so much that it just rips. It just rips so easy. Okay. So five. So what do we say? 21 plus five, 26. 26 in budgeting. YouTube giveaway. 
we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 101. So we're going to keep that beautiful one. And we are going to exchange. Wait, that didn't look like it. Hold on. 50, 70, 80, 90. I almost made a mistake there, didn't I? Mmm. Almost did. So 50, 70, 90, 1. Just to be sure, that's what I have here. 91. That could have messed me up big time. So 91 for YouTube giveaway. For supporting small business, we have 10, 20. 25, 26, 27. So 27. Alright, for bills, let's see, for bills we had 20, and now we have 10. For festivals, we had 450 in fees, and this is a prop bill because I'm leaving it in the account until that check comes out. So 450 in fees, and then for change, he has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so 475 in total. Here's a festival, um, like the third week, I think, of May, so just ready and prepared for that. And then for wood fund, he has in supplies 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. All right. So that will do it for my business and sinking funds. And we're going to go over to our cash envelopes. I don't typically like to do these just because these are super revolving. So they just fluctuate month to month. And depending on what time of month or whatever that I actually sit down and do this um, sinking funds update, it can totally change how much is in these. So I don't use this as any kind of savings, you know, this does not go towards that. But I do want to see how much I have sitting in there at this moment. So we'll start with revolving and in groceries. I haven't done my WTF for our groceries yet, but I can tell you it has 700 in prop bills. And I don't like even writing that down because I know I just did grocery shopping, but I haven't taken this out yet. <laughs> for dining out, same deal. Um, we went to Olive Garden tonight because it is technically my birthday, but you guys won't see this video until tomorrow. But I still have the 175 I put in here because we went to Olive Garden and they like to do card only. So 175. Trust me, I brought this with me and nope. So it's fine. Um, my pets. Let's see what we have in here. We have 20, 40, 50. And I like to keep smaller bills in these so I don't condense these so much. And it's just because I, I need change. I need change so much and so often. So that's $50 in there. Extra toiletries is at zero. Peach Pass, let's see what we have. 20, 21, 21, 2, 3, 4. So 24. Miscellaneous has zero, and rollover has zero. Okay, last binder, guys. Short term, which is also cash envelopes, just not as frequent as the others. So haircuts, we have 20, 40, 50, and I like to keep it, I like to keep it actually with two fives, so I'm not sure what I was thinking with that. 
No, this will do. So 25 and 25. So that will actually be two different haircuts. One for my son, one for my hubby. So 50 plus 55, 56. So 56 in self-care. For home, we have it opened already. We have 10. For gifts, we have 5, 10, 15, 16. So let's exchange these two fives. For 10, we have 16. For clothing, we have nothing. I did take this out recently. For family fun, we have 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm going to go ahead and do a full 50. We are planning to do um, a movie this weekend. So, Amazon has five. Am I? I'm off. I'm off. Self-care has 56. Home has 10. Yeah. Gifts has 16. Clothing has 0. Amazon. I totally skipped family fun. That, that was my bad. Hmm. Family fun. Okay, I fixed it. I had to go and look and see what family fun had last month. So family fun has 50. Amazon has five. Now date night also has 50. And I'm just going to do this 50. And then gaming has 10, 20, 21. 21. And I think I'm going to make some change. So instead of a 10, I'm going to do a 5, and then 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know, this is anti-condensing, -con I know, but with gaming, a lot of times it's like 99 cents, 2.99, you know, that type of thing. It's actually rarely ever $10, so I'm going to do 5s. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Total anti condensing. But it's rare to have change around, so I wanted to make use of that. Okay, so before we do any counting or anything like that, I want to go ahead and do some calculations. I'll speed all of this up so that I don't bore you with the math. All right, so as you can see, the total amount here is $11.57. That is $1,056 change in the positive. But again, it always is just a matter of what time of the month I'm actually doing the sinking funds update regarding these. So don't count this as, oh man, I was able to save $1,000. No, not counting that. All right, so this is where the real savings comes from. So I will calculate this up really quick and we'll go over it. Whoa, 
Wow. Wow. Okay. So, um, the reason why I have two different numbers here, I don't know if you can see that far down, but the reason why I have two different numbers here is because part of the vacation was given uh, by a friend. The friends who are coming with us on vacation paid their half of the rental, but we haven't paid that rental yet. So, um, it is... 17, 16, 217. So fourteen hundred and four dollars is what they gave. So I'm going to subtract fourteen hundred from this number, just so I can see what our savings was in comparison. But it'll be the same regardless if I just subtracted. So like. 19,318 minus 17,621, which is a difference of $1,697. And as you can see, if I did that with the numbers subtracting theirs, it would be the same. So no matter what, we saved $1,697 this month. That's awesome. We are at over $19,000 saved in these binders. Almost $18,000 ourselves. Whoa! In comparison to last month's, over $16,000. Now we are almost $18,000. $18,000. Like, I want to count this number, but I know that like $1,404 .04 is from our friends. But for us, seventeen, almost eighteen thousand dollars. What? And that is just by doing this system for just over a year now. Mhm. Mm so if you aren't doing it, maybe you should be. All right. So with that being said, seventeen thousand nine hundred and fourteen. Oh. Added with the eleven fifty seven currently. That is $19,000, $19,000 sitting in these in various, you know, like some of them are prop bills, of course. I'm not going to keep that kind of money just sitting in these things, but that's a lot of money. $19,000, $19,000. You know what? I'm titling this video over $19,000 saved. Got to do it. All right. So now it is time to make sure that I have $1,300 sitting right here no matter what denominations as I said when I started this video this has to be $1,300 gotta finish with what I started with so let's count this up together 102 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500. That is not two. Okay. 500. So plus 500. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So two fifty. Ooh, I hate these fives. They're so bad. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, thirty, five, forty, five, fifty, five, sixty, five, seventy, five, eighty, five, ninety, five, one hundred. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty five, thirty five, forty five, fifty five, sixty five, seventy five, eighty five, ninety five, and a hundred. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. Then we have what well, I guess twenty five ones, if this is correct. So one, two, three. Ugh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 tw
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, and 5. $1,300. All right, guys. So we have successfully condensed my envelopes. Pretty significant amount, I think. What do you guys think? That's, that's some savings of some space, I think. Whew. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have successfully done a condensing and a singing funds together in a combo video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And after this, it'll be May. I'll be posting again next Monday with another DIY. So I hope you guys join me with that. We're going to decorate up some more envelopes. All the envelopes you've seen in this video are decorated by me by hand using markers. So check those videos out if you haven't already and i will see you guys next week i want to say that i will be doing these videos but let me tell you i have been summoned for jury duty and it starts next week so i'm being ambitious and saying i'll be able to post every my normal monday wednesday and friday um but i don't know <laughs> i don't know what that's going to look like so um, if anything changes, of course, I will let you guys know in the community tab on my channel. So just be paying attention to that. Definitely click your notifications so you'll know. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys on Monday. But again, thank you for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.